I'm Ms. Artastic and welcome to the last video of this series in Artastic August where I'm providing you with five different art lessons here on YouTube. Um, but if you joined Artastic August, you also got all the other resources available and art lessons with this event. Um, this art lesson, we are going to be exploring watercolor paint and drawing some super cool art making mediums, applying some shadows on here. So we're going to be needing um, watercolor paints and a permanent marker, but if you don't have a permanent black marker or a permanent fine tip marker, use a black wax, uh, sorry, black colored pencil um, or pencil crayon, however you call it. Um, and then that, you usually have wax in the lead, I honestly find, and it doesn't typically uh, bleed or blend out, right? It's kind of like wax crayon. Um, so use that instead if you don't have a black fine tip marker, it'll do the same thing. We're just drawing the shapes, essentially, of our art making memes with it, but we're filling in the color with some watercolor paints to explore some cool techniques that way, and then adding some shadows. Super cool, super fun, I love it. Um, it's a lovely little uh, collage of different art making mediums. Just to celebrate art, of course. Anyway, we're, this is the last um, video of the series again for Artastic August, and this video, again, I'm doing this series on YouTube with some full art lessons, so that way you can uh, celebrate with me because I launched my online streaming art lesson platform called Artastic Kids. It is open for enrollment, check it out. My friend, www.artastickids.com, or at the end of this art lesson, click the link below the video to check it out. It is my online streaming platform where it's kind of like Netflix or Disney Plus where you click a video and hit play. There's a whole library of different things to choose from. Um, so check that out. It's similar to like Disney Plus and Netflix in the same way where you click an art lesson, one that you like, whatever category you want, whether it's our insects and reptiles, plants and landscapes, things that go, um, fantasy, animals, whatever category you pick, click an art lesson. It's already loaded with tons our lessons and then you can play it anytime, anywhere. Um, they come in a range of different levels and so you can pick a just right art level for you no matter if you're a beginner artist in the middle or if you feel like you're advanced. I have a range of different art lessons for you to choose from. They're all leveled so you can pick a just right art lesson for you in the topic or subject that you like yourself. These are great for um, playing videos at home if you want to have your kids in art lessons. They're perfect for art lessons at home. Instead of registering just one child for an art lesson at an art studio, the whole family or everybody can do the art lessons together. Or if you want and you're a teacher in a classroom, you can also hit play and use this as art lessons in your classroom if you want to stream art lessons to your classroom. And my friend, you get to enjoy five new art lessons being added every single month. Five new art lessons. It is so fabulous. A great way to um, extend your creativity, uh, learn valuable skills. It's perfect for fine motor development and so much more. And all the subjects and all the topics that we are going to be creating art around are kid friendly and are of high interest for our kids. So check it out artastickids.com, link below the description of this video. It is open for enrollment. It is a grand opening and you can join and enjoy art lessons anytime, anywhere. So we're gonna dive on in into this last art lesson right now. So make sure you grab something to draw with that is permanent or not gonna bleed in water. Add some watercolor paint and let's make some art. All right, so we're gonna be doing a watercolor painting. Now, I'm using my watercolor paints, but also I have watercolor paint paper here, watercolor paper here, and this is a lot thicker than typical paper. Now, if you don't have watercolor paper, feel free just to use some cardstock paper, that's okay too. And once you're ready, you can grab a permanent marker, fine tip marker. I'm just using the tip of the chisel brush here, or the chisel marker. Um, so fine tip marker, but also um, it has to be permanent so it doesn't bleed. Now, if you don't have a permanent marker, no worries, my lovely friend. Simply use um, a wax crayon or you can use a 
colored pencil, a black colored pencil or black pencil crayon, however you call it. And that will also create a wax barrier that is going to be resisting the paint. Okay, so here we go. I got my marker. We're gonna begin by drawing our art supplies around our, our, our paper to create an art composition, watercolor painting of some art supplies. All right, so first we're gonna begin with some scissors at the top. So we're gonna begin with the handle. So out around in a scissor handle shape and connect and I'll add the screw there. Of course, we have to add the part, the hole there so our fingers can fit through. Again, we're making nice narrow marks. And then of course, I have one blade coming out this way and attach other handle. And then I'll continue the blade across and then up. Another screw where it's attached on the inside. Perfect. You can reaffirm any lines and make them nice and neat. Just like that. I'm also going to add some curved lines on the inside of the handles, just like this. And we're going to use hatching lines to add a shadow. Make it a little bit more sophisticated. Beautiful. All right, down this side, we're going to add a ruler. So we're going to draw two lines. And then we're going to place our hands. We're not using a ruler to draw this. We're going to place our finger on the point and we're gonna use our eyes and hand and draw a line that is parallel with the edge of the paper all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna do our best job to make that line as straight as you can. Perfect. Okay, again, we're gonna place our hand there. Pull down, nice straight line all the way to the bottom, just like that. And then you can add some lines for some ruler texture down the sides. Perfect. All right, let's add something else. Next, we're gonna draw a paintbrush over here. So we're gonna draw the top of the brush. So we're gonna draw the metal part that holds our brush together. So we'll draw a curving rectangle. At the top of the rectangle, you can add some bristles and whatever design you would like. And a handle. And of course, we're gonna add some hatching lines down one side. For some shading and to make it sophisticated. Next we're going to draw a glue stick. So we're going to draw an oval, two lines down, connect at the bottom to make the lid. I'll add some texture across there with some vertical lines. And we're going to draw two more lines down for the glue stick just like that. I'm gonna add a label across it. And I'll write glue. You can design yours however you would like. All right, next I'm gonna add some paint blobs, a couple paint blobs here and there. And some little shiny spots on them. I'm gonna draw an oil pastel, so I'm gonna draw a cylinder. 
Then I'll add my label on it and I'll write oil pastel on it. I can also draw a rectangle and make some soft pastels that way. Perfect. So I've got some soft pastels. I can make a wax crayon. So we're going to draw two lines up. Draw the top of the wax crayon and the bottom. And you can add the label. Maybe I'll add a paint tube. Finally, I'm going to add an eraser, so I'll just do a square with the label on the inside. All right, and once you're done, you're ready to paint. So you can grab a paintbrush and your water. I'm going to dip our brush, and we're going to start at the top and work our way down. Then you can go ahead and grab black, and we're going to water it down, so that way it is gray. We're going to begin off with painting in our paintbrush. I'm also going to use that gray a little bit on the metal clasp there and on some of the lids real quick. I'm going to paint in my scissors and everything with a choice color and then once you're both done painting in all our elements with our own choice colors we'll together shade our art mediums. Once you're done painting them in, we're going to grab our black and we're just going to go ahead and add a shadow. We're going to put our shadows on the same side. So we're just going to take that black and we're just going to go along the edge and add a shadow below. Just like that. 
Adding a nice little shadow. On one side of all our art making mediums. To finish it up, we're going to swirl, swirl, swirl three times on our plaque, and then we're going to tap our brush to make some speckles across our paper just to get some texture to our artwork. Tap, tap across our page, make it more visually interesting and artsy. Just tapping only, no throwing. Perfect. So just like that, your lovely artwork that explores watercolor painting of art making mediums is done. Well, my friend, I hope you enjoyed making this art lesson with me. Remember, the Artastic Kids membership is open. It's grand opening has happened, so make sure you check it out. Again, it's my online streaming art lesson platform where I'm gonna provide you with a huge art resource library of art lessons to choose from with five new art lessons being added every single month so that way you can expand your creative thinking. You can expand your critical thinking skills. You can develop new art making techniques and skills and then become a, a growing artist at home, okay? So you can stream art lessons anytime, anywhere, from the comfort of your home. You can do it with your family to spend more quality time with them. Or if you want, if you're a teacher, you can stream art lessons directly in your classroom with Artastic Kids. It is um, an online streaming service. Again, you can click a video, hit play, and you can stream art lessons. Again, new five new art lessons are added every single month to the platform. Uh, so it's an ever-growing art resource lesson library, um, fully loaded with a ton of art lessons and five new ones are added every single month. And for more information, make sure you check out the link below the video right now, Artastic Kids. Now let's check out more information on Artastic Kids. Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and I have an online streaming platform called Artastic Kids, where kids get to create some fabulous art projects all from the comfort of their home or any place at any time using just a few common art making mediums. So my platform is easy to use. You simply log on, grab an art project, click it, and boom, I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing in a fun, engaging way. So. Let's check out some of the art projects that we're going to do on Artastic Kids.